If you're like me, you're a fan of Diner Dash games, but you're having trouble getting Diner Dash 2 to run on your newer Windows system. This tutorial will show you how to get the game running pretty smoothly. Alright, the first step is to install the game, so go ahead and do that. I'm installing from a disk. If you're installing from a disk also, and you did not have an automatic installation pop-up, go ahead and double-click on your DVD drive. Alright, go ahead and go through the different windows, click yes, destination folder looks good, let's install. Alright, the game has been successfully installed, go ahead and check the add desktop icons button for now, and let's go ahead and open the game and see how it looks. You might get this window that pops up, let's go ahead and click play. You'll notice it looks a little odd. We didn't get the animation here. And right now I'm not picking up any audio. You'll notice that you're not able to click on any of the buttons here. You can't even click to quit. So go ahead and try this. You can try it. I still won't be able to click these buttons. So in that case, what we got to do with the hard shutdown. Go ahead and open your task manager. Control alt delete and end that task. So the first thing to realize is that the shortcut that was produced during installation is not the ideal shortcut to use for this game. So let's go ahead and right click this and open file location. If you don't have the shortcut then what you can do is go to your C drive and go to the place where the game installed. You see that this is the application that opens when we use the shortcut, but if we go into the game folder, there is this other Diner Dash 2 application. So let's go ahead and create a shortcut for that. Right click it and choose <laughs> create shortcut. And now we have this new shortcut. So let's try opening the game this way. I've turned my audio settings way down from this game, but we actually have audio as you can tell. And we can click on things, but unfortunately we have this very pesky graphics here where whenever you move the mouse, you're left with this trail of pixels. But go ahead and uncheck the full screen button while you're here. Running the game in windowed mode is preferred because it makes the game much less likely to crash. Once you've done that, go ahead and exit the game. To resolve that graphics error, we need to go into the game's properties, so right click the new shortcut we have and go to properties. Go ahead and click on the compatibility tab at the top, and under settings we have several things. Let's check the reduced color mode box and select 16-bit color. Click apply, and then let's open the game one more time. The game opens and check it out. No more pesky mouse. We can actually play the game and not have any trails of things behind. So, that's how to run Diner Dash 2 on a newer Windows system. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Happy gaming!